Alright, hi, well, my name's Christian. Welcome to Re Wanna Know, the show for real students who want to know. Let's go. Uh, whoop, whoop. Let's welcome our new guests today, Tony and Phoenix from Prestige. Insert crowd cheering. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of your background. Yo, uh, well, my name's Phoenix. I am 21. Samoan, Tongan, New uh, I've been dancing for about, about 11 years. Uh, I'm one of five children and yeah, danced in Desire Dance Academy and now I'm part of Prestige Dance Crew. My name is Tony Putty, I'm 25 years old. I am Samoan, quarter to um, uh, from Otara. I was raised in Otara. I was born in Mount Rock School. So uh, yeah, and then I was raised in Otara and then now I'm living out here in Manurewa and I have three sisters, I'm the only boy, um, golden child, get away with everything, and yeah, dance with Prestige Dance Crew, I was fortunate to get invited in 2015, this year is my fifth year in Prestige Dance Crew, um, yeah, happy to be here, I really want to know, let's go. Yeah, so you guys have been dancing for a while now, right? like, when did you guys realize you were, like, this was something you were good at, dancing was something you were Back in 2008, when I got asked to dance, my two brothers were dancing before me, and then in a crew called Crash that we were a part of, um, just in the hood in Otara. Uh, one older brother, one younger brother. Um, and then when I got asked to join, uh, there was an opportunity to jump into a crew called Deja Vu. Uh, and that next uh, following year, 2009, I was fortunate to go to the World Hip Hop Champs at 11 years old. And I think from there, it was just like, um, yeah, it was just an opportunity and then I was just found the fun of it and then bang bang boogie. Yo, uh, I started dancing when I was like in primary, I uh, went to Dawson Primary um, in Otara and they had like end of year school concerts and I always joined like the dance group, like hip hop dance group and then I did that every year up to intermediate, I started crumping, that's when crumping came out and then in year nine, my first year at Tamaro College. Uh, but 2007, um, yeah, I picked up dance at um, Desire, Desire Studio at Notara. 2009, I passed my like level one in CEA, and then asked my mom if I could go to Worlds. <laughs> Paid my trip, yeah, man. Passed school, you know, you get the treats. Um, I went to Worlds, that was my first year in America, Las Vegas. Came back, talked to all my friends, and I was just like, no one else has been to Vegas, and no one else has been at my age as well so I thought no I was like I just I made the switch from rugby to dance and then I stuck at it yeah and I've been been doing it ever since I've been to America a few times so you guys were pretty young when you guys realized like oh dance is gonna be my number one thing right yeah yeah, yeah. realizing that um, something that that you're good at and something that makes you happy and following that like following your bliss is yeah. something that um, I've been learning about um, yeah um, something that makes you happy that makes other people happy as well um, something you want to pursue and get you places that's where you want to be stay here uh, you talked about how you like started crumping as well is there like any specific type of dance genres that you guys prefer or do you guys just go for it, whatever there's a lot of genres now um, back in like New York when hip hop first started they had like locking, breaking, popping, um, bopping and all of that. Um, now it's kind of just like freestyle urban, urban choreography. But if there was a genre that uh, I enjoy the most it would be locking. It's just a more upbeat and fun and entertaining and yeah, just gets the crowd going. Yo, uh, popping would be something I would want to learn a little bit more about. Um, yeah, popping. Is so the one the Jabwakis do? Yeah, yeah, they do a lot of popping, isolating. Um, it's all like patience, like stillness. Um, crumping is a lot more like aggressive um, and like really hyped, a lot of energy. Yeah. But this is as much energy, but like conserved and like putting it into like ticking movements. Mm. Yo, that's a buzzing style of popping. <laughs> all right. So you guys got all this experience, right? You got any advice for like the younger generation here dancing? 
advice, just just do it for yourself first. Do it because you love it, not because you want to show off. Um, and find find what your how your body moves because everybody's everybody listens to music differently, um, and so everybody's body will move separately. So find what how your body enjoys moving, uh, and yeah, just stick at it. Have fun with it. Yeah, it'll be like trust like trust the process. Um, in terms of dance, like if you're not where you want to be, that's okay. Like uh, you, you'll go through a season where you're just like, I'm not feeling dance right now, and like, or like I suck right now, so I don't want to dance for a period. But yeah, everyone goes through seasons, and it's not just dance. I would say it's like anything you do in life. Um, you'll go through a, a tough season, and you'll go through a really good high season. Um, it's like knowing where you're at, reflecting on that, and then being able to like toughen it out and fight through it like yeah I would say continue to to do what you love that, um, what makes you happy and trust the process for that yeah. I see you guys are both teacher aids you know at, at real yeah you guys like real best school in South Auckland man <laughs> even though it's a, sure. even though it's not an Otara it is still the best school like 2,000 yeah, children yeah. and just all the kids are just more vibrant here like in Otara it's I don't know community energy, village yeah. it's yeah. Everyone kind of like, you know, it has that um, toxic humility to just like head down and, you know, want to be a part of um, like the village or the tribe. But in real, everyone's like, you know, happy to express and happy to be themselves. That's what I love about um, yeah. a little too much. Yeah, yeah. We can, yeah. More, better than more than less. Yeah, yeah. Better than more. We can strip. Yeah. I would say it's like everyone, yeah, can be a little bit too much, but man, I love the culture here. I love the, the energy here. Um, and everyone's like showing respect to each other in terms of like, well not necessarily, not necessarily in class, but like outside of class, like people are like all good to say what's up to you, to say hi to you. Like uh, everyone's a lot more inviting here. Like our first week, so we've been rehearsing here other than before we started as teacher aides here, um, prestige rehearsals in the dance studio here. Um, but when we started here, we, were, we just felt welcome straight away. Um, not just by the staff but by the students as well and any place like that where you step into where you feel welcome there's like a lot of, a lot of I guess togetherness like family family here which is important yeah all right so now we'll uh, have a little game of uh, quick five questions we'll give you a few questions and you guys just say whatever comes to the top of you off the top of your mind right if you could only do one type of dance for your whole life out of tap dance and ballet, what would you choose? Tap dance. Tap. tap. Right. I've been watching a little bit of tap dance. There's this guy that does this fuzzy ass tap dance, like rhythm, and he just does it to different music. He was like jamming to Indie Irie, Lauren Hill, all the like female R&B artists, like soul music, and in a contrast of tap dance, it was fire, eh? it was lit. Spongebob was a girl, what would her name be? Spongebob. <laughs> I said it! I said it. Don't judge me. Alright, describe yourself as a teenager in three words. Uh, feel cool. That's two. That's two. And... Uh, feel humble. <laughs> uh, I was like, attention seeker. That's two. That's two. And... <laughs> you only get one more. Um, and... Probably that's it. Sorry, that's just two. two. Alright. Uh, what's your favourite movie ever? The Love Guru. Hitch. Alright. You guys are awesome. rom-coms. <laughs> Netflix Boys. or YouTube? Ooh. YouTube. Because you can watch podcasts and you can watch docos. And talks. Just Joe Rogan's on there too. What is your biggest pet peeve? Biggest pet peeve? Long fingernails. Yeah, long fingernails. I don't like ugly feet. Feet? <laughs> yeah. Just feet in general? No, ugly feet. Oh, ugly feet. Oh. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Samoa. Right. Africa. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, new clothes or new phone? New clothes. New clothes. New clothes. Who is someone you look up 
Big up to Dave Chappelle. LeBron James. Nice. Sweet. All right. And that concludes Cook Fire questions. All right. We'll go on to our next activity where we're, it's a game of sitting down and dancing. You have 30 seconds to come up with a choreography while sitting down based on the scenario. Right. Lux had been dating Bailey for two months. It was like love at first sight. Alex pursued Bailey because he thought she was the prettiest girl he had ever laid eyes on and she thought he was the hottest thing out there. Alex and Bailey went to board together and while they were dancing, Alex told Bailey she was going to the bathroom. 30 minutes later, Bailey had him returned and Alex went out to find her only to see that Alex was hanging out with her ex-boyfriend. Bailey went <sighs> home and cried himself to sleep. Quite a depressing topic, but yeah. Thanks, you're... Alex. Follow the rest of our content, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell below. Prestige exit 444. Let's go! Rewind the no!